Let's get into the shade here. We want that good even lighting. Hello everyone. Welcome to my vlog for Tsukinocon 2024. I've been going to this convention for 14 years and I love it. Uh, they haven't been back officially for about three years after COVID happened, but they're back and we are so excited. We are so excited. Um, Tsukinocon is a completely volunteer run convention and they do a beautiful job of the event every year. It's fantastic. Um, really nice to come back to Victoria and see a bunch of familiar faces. Um, it's a really close-knit kind of small town con. Really good vibes, so I'm really happy to be here. So today, I didn't expect this because I'm used to cons being like full day every day, um, but today everything doesn't start until about 2.30 and it's about two o'clock right now. Opening ceremonies aren't until three, so there's a lot of time. I woke up at 8.30 a.m. like ready to do everything, ready to get ready and get down here. Um, but then I looked at the schedule and surprise, they don't open until the afternoon. But it was good. I had donuts and I had sushi and it, it was all very nice. Um, and now I'm here. So I think I'm still quite early because like I said, it's two o'clock right now and everything opens at 2.30. So I'm just going to kind of meander um, and see what I see. But I'm excited for today. I'm in my comfy cosplay that I'm really excited about and um, yeah so without any further ado let's a go okay we're here I have found would you like to be in the vlog I have found a Roray hi hello Roray I got my uh, media badge thank you to you know, for the media badge also I just want to say I love that I'm in this cosplay and I'm media hello real life reporter thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm so excited. I'm so hyped up on nervous energy. Am I crying? Why is my eye watering? Anyway, we're gonna go into the vendors and stuff. This is gonna be great. Okay, bye. We're talking about whether or not trolls like who live under bridges should have Brooklyn accents or not. We think they should, because I propose, like, it works. I've been convinced. Yeah, it's right? Like, yeah. yeah, you weren't on board at first, but I was like, you know, get out of my bridge, forget about it. And, you know, then you were convinced. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, it, I, I think, you know, I, I, I share this bridge with a rat. I eat pizza. It's my rat. It's, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm a troll. Forget about it. I don't know. It works. It's good. It's good. So we saw opening ceremonies, and now we're gonna go to um, um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make poor financial decisions. We're gonna go to vendors and see what there is to see. Uh, we're coming up on the scene of the. If you guys remember my glomping video, uh, we're coming up on the um, scene of of where the scene of the glomp, if you will. This is the walkway where the extreme glomping incident happened. All those years ago, 14 years ago. All right, let's go buy some stuff.
Oh my gosh, there's like chair. <laughs> That's so ominous. There's just one chair. Is this a liminal space? <laughs> I feel like I just entered a liminal space. Oh my gosh. There's a table. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's that's a little bit disappointing to be honest. Okay. This is really embarrassing, but I just did a whole like sequence for this shoot trying to vlog it and then it turns out that I wasn't even recording. So, we're just going to try that again. I'm going to put you guys down here and we're going to do the photo shoot again so you guys can get <laughs> The content, the content, do it for the content. Oh my gosh, how's my hair look? I wouldn't say that it's straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither am I, oh. so. <laughs> Oh yes, you press, you press the play button. Oh, there she is. She, uh, oh wow, there, there I am on the chair. Nice. Liminal. 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 Oh, that's cute. I like that. It is cute. The shoes though. The shoes, my $80 shoes. We're done with our photo shoot. Well, my photo shoot, thank you, Rory. For the photos shout out to rory and now we're not sure what we're gonna do because we've gone around the vendors we've gone to opening ceremonies what we don't know what we're gonna do um so uh stay tuned for us figuring out what's next all right we have decided to ditch the con for the day we're gonna go get burritos pretty stoked about it that's it that's 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 the update Our bus never came. Our bus never came. We've just been standing here for so long waiting for this bus that's supposed to be here, but it hasn't come twice. And I'm so hungry. I just want burritos. Okay, we finally got on a bus. It wasn't the bus that we had initially hoped for, but it will still take us to get burritos. So that's really all that matters. That is it for today. Um, it was a pretty chill time at the con. Um, first day is always like that, um, especially when it starts so late, you know, there's not um, a whole lot happening, but tomorrow should be a lot busier. It's gonna be a full day rather than starting in the afternoon and there's gonna be a whole bunch of events and stuff. So um, I'll show you guys all of that. See you tomorrow, bye. Just finished doing a little photo shoot with my dad and uh, now I'm headed to the convention for day two of Tsukino Khan and um, I'm pretty stoked. It's uh, raining right now which I'm not happy about and also my dress got wrinkly in the car. Um, not happy about that but you know it's gonna be a full day and we have a very special guest coming to the convention with us in the afternoon so stay tuned for that. Anyway I'm gonna uh, get over there and then show you guys what I get up to. I'll be good. All right. What are you looking at? Is that the compost? And what goes in there? That's for glass bottles. Yeah. Oh, let's not put our hand in there. That's so that they can be recycled.
wig is coming off because I have a pillow underneath it. Hello! So that was my panel. Um, only like six people came and um, Hi, thank you. Uh, it was awkward because two guys came in and I was like, cool, extra people are coming to the panel. And then like two minutes into the panel, they up and left. And I was like, that's fine, I guess. Um, but anyway, I did the panel. Yay! Um, yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm glad some people came because for the longest time there was one person in the room and I was like, oh no, it's gonna be one person, but then there was more than one person, so that is good. Uh, okay, next is lip sync competition. I need to fix this wig because I look like a little boy with a bowl cut. <laughs> Am I wrong? You're gonna look at me and you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong? She came down in a bubble, Doug. Get educated. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, so it is almost time to judge the lip sync contest. Um, but first I want to show you guys, first of all, they give us free candy. So I got some Reese's and some, what are these? They just look like licorice. Uh, sour Punch, exciting. Gotta eat at cons. The other thing I want to show you guys <clears throat> is that there's been, there's a ribbon rally this year, which is basically where they give you these little ribbons and you put them on your badge and you collect them in various different ways. Sometimes you have to like answer questions, sometimes you have to do some sort of a challenge. So um, I was actually supposed to be one of the ribbon giver out people um, but I couldn't think of a ribbon that I wanted to get made like I couldn't think of anything clever to put on a ribbon so I ended up not doing that but I have two ribbons right now this one's for lip sync this one is a reference to Tsukino uh, Matsuri which was over the summer so I think that's really cool and I hope that this becomes a mainstay thing at uh, Tsukinocon because it's actually really fun I'm gonna put them on my badge now <laughs>
I just want to say, this might be the best finale battle we've had. Yeah! <laughs> so, the way we start to go by audience here. So, I'm going to hold my hand on top of one, you cheer. I put the hand down, you stop. I do the other one, you cheer, and then we stop. And then we keep going until there's a clear winner, basically. So, for the clowns! <laughs> Zucchini Con. It's not snowing yet. It's, yet. Um, it but is it is raining. It is cold and rainy today. And um, that's all. That's, that's all. it. That's welcome it. back to Victoria. Oh, thank I'm you. Happy to back here. Oh, I'm, it's nice to come back here. Yes. We banish back to Vancouver soon. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. And then I'm going to Ottawa. Ooh, <laughs> yes. Okay. So, you know, no rest. No rest. But that's okay. Um, so bring, bring a sweater with you. I will. Yeah. I'll bring a whole winter jacket. A whole ass winter jacket. So today, there are no plans except board games tonight. Um, and that's it. So, I don't know how much I will vlog, but I am a media person, so I'm going to try to document your beautiful convention um, as much as, as possible. It's a stunning, beautiful convention. It's, 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 it's very nice. Very, uh, very homey. Very homey, very homey. The best Victoria has to offer. Quaint and wonderful. That's sadly very true. <laughs> Come to Tsukino Con! Come to Tsukino Con. We're Come doing the best we can with what we have. Yeah, get a muffin and some ramen noodles, but don't put the ramen noodles down the sink. We have strainers in the bathroom just in case. Yes, just just in case. Um, so, th there you go. Come to Tsukino Con. Sometimes the lights downstairs are even turned on. Yeah, so sometimes. Do they flicker ever? <laughs> Only at night. Only at night. Only when it's very weird to do so. Oh, great. Yeah. So it's haunted, is what you're saying. A little bit. So, oh, wow, it's a Tsukino Con ghost. Yeah, the ghost of convention. Uh, past, future. And present. present. <laughs> we're about to take photos. We're in this hallway, well, the stairway, I should say, where we took Kim Possible photos like eight years ago. Not, not we, but like I and my friends took Kim Possible photos in here. So it's very nostalgic. I was present. You were present. I think you were present. Yeah, and that was like a three hour shoot, which is crazy. All right, let's take some photos. <laughs> Liminal space. The con is over. Liminal space. We're in the back room. Liminal space. Liminal space. Liminal space. Liminal space. Okay, my wig is so disheveled right now. And I really want to take everything off, but like I have to do my haul before we uh, finish up. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do a little haul and wrap up and everything. So the first things that I bought were actually from the day before the convention, because I arrived in Victoria on Thursday and then had some time to myself. So I just went 
downtown and shopped around a little bit. So the first things I got were from Monroe's Bookstore, which is a very famous bookstore in Victoria. It's one of the top bookstores, I think, in all of North America, I believe. It's, it's something crazy like that. So um, I'm really interested in like local history and primarily ghosts. I always go to the local bookstores and look for ghost books. But I've gotten to a point where I have, like there are only a few local Victoria ghost story books and I have them all. So I kind of have to branch out a little bit. So what I ended up getting that really caught my eye is this, um, more English than the English, which is a, what, what do they call it? A very social history of Victoria. You know, it has like old photos and stuff. And it's gonna be about like the, the gold rush and then how Victoria, you know, evolved from the gold rush era. Um, so I'm very interested to learn about that. I'm really excited because I don't know, I, I know a little bit of the history from my ghost story books, um, but this will make me fill in some of the blanks of like, specifically the history, not just the history relating to various hauntings. So I'm excited about that. I also got this British Columbia Murders um, book. I, I first of all, it was only $13. So that was a really high selling point, but also it looks like, oh, ooh. It looks like the text is actually quite large, so it's gonna be like a nice little quick read. I find this kind of stuff like interesting, so I, you know, that'll be like a fun little read. Uh, then I went to Murchie's, which is this um, very famous local tea shop. So half of their storefront is um, the cafe, and then half of it is their like souvenir shop and, and, and tea shop and stuff. So um, I went over there. I did get a Victoria Fog, which is supposed to be a lavender, kind of like a London Fog, but with lavender tea. Um, a London Fog, if you don't know, because I realize we only have those like on the West Coast, is um, basically an Earl Grey latte. So it, it is half Earl Grey tea, vanilla syrup, and then half steamed milk. Um, but this one is basically the same thing, but with lavender tea instead of Earl Grey tea. It was very disappointing. It mostly just tastes like steamed milk and a hint of tea, not even lavender tea. It just tasted like really weak tea. Um, so don't recommend that. Um, but I did manage to get this reusable cup sleeve, which is um, handmade. And I've been needing a reusable cup sleeve for years. I had one years ago and then I lost it. And I've been trying to find one since, but they're actually very hard to come by. This one's really cool because it has all the different like names of teas um, on it. So these are like, all supposed to be like tea bags. We have magic ginger and then uh, oolong. I thought that was really cute because I love tea. So I thought this was perfect for me. It's the last one they had in stock. So I was very happy about that. And then I went to Russell Books, which is a famous secondhand bookstore in Victoria. It is two stories. It has like escalators and everything. Like it is a massive, like family owned bookstore, which is really cool. And it's all secondhand books. Um, so they actually have a paranormal section, which is really, awesome. Shout out to Russell Books for having a paranormal section. Again, there weren't a whole lot of ghost story books specifically. They had stuff for like mythical creatures and um, stuff like that. So like paranormal, but not necessarily ghosts. But I did find this one, which is a natural history of ghosts, which I'm really excited uh, to read. It's in beautiful condition. It was only $10. Um, so I'm excited to give that a read. Then we get to my stuff that I got at the actual convention. So first and foremost, I really want to go to the Pancakey's booth. Um, here is her at. So if you go to Instagram, I'll just put it on screen. This is her account. She does really amazing art. I got some Five Nights at Freddy's security breach stickers from her last time and I absolutely love them. And I saw that she was making uh, digital circus ones. So I absolutely had to get those. So really excited. This was the first thing that I got and it was like a main priority to get this. So really stoked about that. Okay, the next thing that I got, which was on the second day, um, this is a half, half a gift from my friend Erin. Um, she paid for half of these and I paid for the other half because they were like expensive for the whole set um, but she wanted to get me a gift so um, thank you Erin. So these are these massive Pokemon cartridges. We have that one and then this one and they have a little wall mount so you can hang them up. Uh, very cool. They're all 3D printed and they have these um, holographic stickers on them so I think that's gonna go really nicely in my nerdy house. Then today I got some patches. So these are from, let me see, these are from Death Petal. And I'll put their, their thing up there, Death Petal. So they sell um, like bucket hats and patches and stuff. It, their stuff is really nice. And I was going by and they had these really cute patches that I really liked, but I was like, where am I gonna put them on? And then I realized you can just put them on shirts and I need new shirts. So the first one that I got, which, I, I love this, it really resonated with me, is um, I have no idea what I'm doing. 
because like literally me, I have no idea what I'm doing at all and I have an existential crisis on a regular basis. I got the classic anime eyes and I got, this one was free because it was buy two get one free. I wasn't sure which one I wanted and then I was like, okay, this one's cool. Um, live fast, die crying. Big mood, big mood. And then I got this Kirby Air Ride um, GameCube disc. This is from, this is from Jelly Ultra. Jelly Ultra does a lot of like, specifically GameCube game merch. So they're really big into like Mario, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which is awesome. And then Kirby Air Ride, but to avoid copyright, it says Corb, Corb Air Ride. Very cute. And then it has a, on the back, like the same texture. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this, but I just, I love the GameCube era so much and thought this was so cute. So I had to get that. Oh yeah, my friend Chris, my friend Chris got me this Maka keychain shout out because obviously I cosplay Maka and he's my sign and we like bonded over our love for Soul Eater. So thank you, Chris. He also gave me this vintage, like authentic YTV pin. So that's a little pin backing there. Um, this was a legit like actual merch from, what years does this say? 1997, <laughs> which is so exciting. Um, so thank you so much. YTV is my jam. YTV is what I grew up with. So and I love everything old and obscure and Canadian. Um, so thank you so much. So yes, anyway, Tikkunikon this year was pretty chill. Um, there wasn't a lot that I actually got up to, but it was still nice getting to see everyone again and just having like a chill fun time and getting to see my family and stuff. Um, I saw like my nephew, I saw my dad, I saw my grandpa, like all throughout the convention. So that was really nice. It was very chill, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Tsukinokan always does a really nice job um, with their convention. They are, they are a very small convention, but it is very lovingly run and the people are what make it so amazing. So um, shout out to all the staff and everything. Uh, they were great. Thank you so much for giving me a media pass. I really appreciate it, especially since I was cosplaying Meryl. It was like perfect and like matched and I love that. Super legit journalism. Hell yeah. Um, anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. My next convention will be SakuraCon at the end of March. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll do my best to put in some videos uh, in between that time. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye!